bag of this literary guild, she is reading it in public in New York. Religiously, daily. She is gathering people, men and women, black and white, young and old, to listen to this new Bible of theirs. The satanic Bible. The satanic verses. She is reading it to them. And there is a young man, an Afro-American. He is listening. He is very attentive. And she is reading from the book. She says, she is reading, I am quoting, page 261 of the satanic verses. White women. White women. Never mind fat. Jewish or non-differential. White women were for fucking and throwing over. This is, I'm reading, page 261 of the Satanic Verses. Just that she is reading to the public and the boy is listening. White women, no man fat, means you know they look like a lump, a bag of potatoes, you know, sexually not very, very desirable. Hmm? Or Jewish with a poly nose, a crooked nose, don't worry. Non-differential, you can't make out the difference whether she is Swiss or German or French or English, what? You can't make out the difference. The only qualification is she must be white. If she is white, they are way for and putting away. So this young man, he has, he has, and he is out for mischief with five other friends of his. He is going to the Central Park in New York and he sees a white woman very athletic, she's been jogging, she wants to keep herself fit and trim. So they see her and it triggers the fellow off. Triggers the fellow off. This is it, man. The Bible says, Satanic Salman's Satanic Verses says, White women, no man fat, Jewish or non-differential. This is nice and trim, so they go for her, like a pack of wolves. And one fellow bashes her on the head and she falls unconscious. And they gang raped her, one by one. And when they're caught, they said that the pleasure that they got, and the sweat and the blood and the gore, it titillated the taste. You're programming people, can't you see? With full. This is how you program, create devils and morons. Brainwashing, they are being brainwashed. You want this to be read to your mother, your sister, your wife and your daughter? And you penguin, why, why, what's this, Peter Mayer of penguin Viking, you gave this fellow eight hundred thousand dollars to tell the world that your mother, your wife, your sister and your daughter, they were four and thrown away. What has happened to you? How did he bewitch you? What has he done to you? How did he do it? Shouldn't you ask him? Shouldn't you ask anybody, how do you do it? Whenever white rulers were shown that, they said, no, ban the book. What are you doing? You're going to program people. They will be looking for white women. Wherever there's a white woman, do you know what they are for? So they went, what is called, wilding. On the 8th of May, Times Magazine, if you can lay your hands on it, it says, wilding, new word. They invented a new word. Means they went wild, they went berserk. Like a pack of wolves, wolves uh, smelling blood. What are you doing? What are you doing to the world, to mankind? And Mrs. Thatcher, just recently, I'm reading this, Monday, September 11th, Maggie says no to sex investigation. I don't know whether you read the, your, in your newspapers. Dateline from London again. She says no to sex investigation in Britain. There is a society or a body, this is Mrs. Thatcher has said no to plan for the biggest ever investigation into the sexual habits of Britons. They want to know the preferences of the British men and women in sex. This is no, Maggie says no, you shall not do that. I admire her for that. By God, I admire her. She's Muslim. She's Muslim like. Maybe she's reading the Quran. Because Allah tells us in the Quran, evil should not be noise abroad. 
broadcast except your injustice has been done. Because once you say things, there are things you can insinuate and you can program people. Like this. Look how it, you easily people can be programmed. British girls are too easy. British girls, I'm reading from Sunday Times, one of the leading mag uh, newspapers, Sunday newspapers in South Africa, dated July 9th. It says, British girls are too easy. Latin lovers reckon there's no skill in chatting up British girls because it's too easy to get them into bed. The Italian stallions, the Italian stallions in the holiday resort of Rimini hold a Playboy of the Year contest, earning points for each girl they make love to. They have a contest. Prim, Catholic Italian girls merit 10 points. If you get a prim Catholic Italian girl, if you get her into bed, 10 points for a bonk. One bonk, you get 10 points. French girls, if you can bed a French girl, you get 6 points. And if you bed a German Frolin, you get 5 points. But British tourists are worth just 1 point. <laughs> what are you doing? Your daughters, your sisters, when they go overseas, every guy says, yes, man, this is the easiest meat. What are you doing? Even if they are not, now everybody is making approaches. Like a bitch in season. That every British girl is like a bitch in season. Anybody comes, anything goes. This is what the guys are saying. You want to have a sex survey here? Here? Hmm. September 16, 1989. The Economist. Your news magazine. The Economist. Says, a woman was raped on a London tube. You know, you're underground. She was raped. So they carried out a survey. And a survey, was sh and a survey showed that only 24% of women thought the tube saved during the day. During the daytime. Only 24% of women thought the tube saved during the daytime. And only 1% at night. You know what they're telling you? This is semantics, playing with words. They're telling you that 99% of your mothers and your sisters and your daughters are terrified at night. 99%. But they say only 1% feel safe. Instead of saying 99% feel unsafe. The masters of language. This is how they do it. You want the world to know? You want to take statistics? Dr. Kinsey, the American, he did it. The life of the American female. The life of the American female by Dr. Kinsey. I read it. I read it, but I will not allow my wife to read. Fortunately, she can't, but I will not definitely allow my daughter to read. Why? Because by reading that stuff, it's going to pollute their minds. It will give them filthy, dirty ideas which they could never have imagined. I can't give you details because it might create the same problems. I will not share it with you, what I read. Dr. Kinsey's Life of the American Female. If you read it, it's the same. The British female is the same. The French female is the same. The German female is the same. On the average, it'll be the same. Gives you ideas. Filthy, dirty things. Mrs.